Yeah, today is the uh, we will put the the oil because I I left it for overnight so that it will drain you know the oil will be drained properly and yeah uh, this is a continuation anyway so if you skip the other video you can find it in the in the video the playlist and try the try to seek the first one so this video is all about putting the oil the right oil the right oil 0w30 i put 0w30 today and if you're asking how much it's 3.9 liters so 3.9 liters and then it, make sure you you tighten this 25 newton meter that's enough not too much of course clean it first uh, yeah so i will clean this first Hope you can see it. Nice. Oh, it's clean. I, I make a, an improvised panel improvised panel
install the drain plug. There it is. So this is the oil. By the way, if you don't change the oil of your car, you will get in trouble. Well, if, but if you don't mind, so it's up to you. But if you want to keep your car running better, then you should change the oil every 4,000. I do 4,000 or 5,000. Much better if you do it three thousand. Here, there's still oil on it. in here turn the other way around so that's it do not over tight because if you over tight it will ruin the So that is tight, and this is tight as well. Now we will just check the check the oil filter housing. Oops. This is the oil filter housing. Okay. So check the uh, when you put the oil. Check if there's a leak on the. the shaky camera a bit shaky
Good additives. Let's put uh, additives. Sorry about the shaky camera. Yeah. 
make sure the oil is yeah not too much as you can see it's all there I think it's good to go Start the car. This is push button. So we stop again and then again. why I did I did that because you know as you can see it's the the oil is drained so there's no oil so it's better if you stop it for a while and then do it again now we check for the leaks and then it's good to go so this is D4D 1.4 so you can see it's clean there's no leak
that's how you change the oil for 10 socket I bought this in Lidl very good it's extendable Now, the last thing you do is how to reset that spanner thing. You need to reset that. That will indicate the indicator for oil change. So, I need to reset that. But you can check in my videos how to reset it. Uh, yeah, I will try. I will try to do it uh, manually. So basically, you press this mode, turn it off, and then turn it on until it splashes that thing. But I will make a video for that. Okay. <coughs> Very silent engine, very nice. It says he is a smaller than a, a bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. Yes, yeah, so okay, you know, so he's an animal. You can tell, like, he's an animal, right? Asking, is it like, okay, so he's an animal. He is myself an... first before I can speak to you, or what's the thing? Yeah, no problem. But we are having a conversation, my friend. We have time. It's okay. Come on, we are having coffee okay. together. Take coffee. Relax. So he is a he is a smaller than a mule and bigger than a donkey. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Do you agree that Muhammad he went really to the heaven in the top of a mule? No. What do you mean? Like, can you repeat this? How you you are the one who told me that Al Burak is the one who took Muhammad to heaven, right? Yes. Okay. How he took him to heaven? Somehow, like, I. Can you imagine like uh, quantum physics? You know. No, I can't imagine. You tell me. He's a donkey anyway. What a quantum physics? He's not a spaceship. He's a donkey. So oh, it's better than a spaceship. I think. I think it's some kind of a ship that. How? That if you would see it, you would like burn to dust, like, okay. you know. Okay, so oh, if you see this, uh, this mule, you are going to be born, burned to dust? No, I didn't say that. I, I, I said, I think, if you try to imagine it, you can, like, come close to it, or you can see it, then it must be something so fantastic that maybe, let me change my words, but maybe you would wish to burn to 
head because wow. it's all about what you're saying. That's you know? nice. Okay, let me ask you now. Uh, uh, no, so you, do you believe this is a physical uh, uh, donkey or it's uh, it's not really a real story? Do you believe this is a really a physical thing? Um, yeah, it must be somehow physical but it can be also something else. Okay. Now, when your prophet is describing that he is between the size of a donkey and a mule, was he mistaken or he was imagining? I think that he wasn't mistaken. Okay, it says here in front of me, this is Sahih Muslim. I was brought al Bura, who is an animal, wide and long, length longer than a donkey, but a smaller than a mule. Okay. Okay, well, here there's a question here about the color. Why is white, this donkey? I don't know, right? Okay, because <laughs> because the, nobody allowed to go to heaven, even if it's donkey, if he's a black, you have to be white. That's number one. Number two, if there's any witnesses for your prophet when he went to the seven heaven element. Sir? If there's anybody saw a donkey come into Muhammad, knocking at his door, his name is Mr. al Burak. Muhammad, he jump in the top of him, and then this donkey fly to the sky. Did anyone see that story? I don't think so. Okay, why always Muhammad, he have things nobody saw? Yesterday, I am in Middle East, and I don't know. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story happened to me, and this is a true story. Uh, once I was uh, sleeping in the roof of my father, in his house, and a big mule came to the roof, and he said, mm -hmm. I woke up, and I jumped at the top of him, and he took me to Mars, and he brought me back to Vietnam, and then from Vietnam, we went to the next poor country, which is called Brazil, and from Brazil, we went to the next country in the border, it's called the France. And then in our way back, we went to Jerusalem, and in Jerusalem, we took some coffee, and then in, in, in Jerusalem, I told him, I am really bored, I want to change the, 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 the taste of my mouth, so we decided to go to a uh, border uh, country, it's called America. Do you believe in my story? I don't. Okay, so why do you believe in this story? Because, the, okay, you know why I believe this story, I think the answer is obvious, but I want to ask you something else, you're a Christian, right? Yes. So, if you make fun about this story, we could also, like an atheist, atheist could also make so much fun about the stories in the Bible yeah, or the things you, see, you, are, okay. belie no you problem. are believing in. No, no problem. But you, you know? see, but you see, all things happen in the Bible. It's, there's witnesses, people, they are witnessing the story. So, let us say, maybe now I did not witness it, but at that time, there's people who see things. As an example, Jesus, he made the blind see. He did not see it through it and, secretly. And right? how can you be sure that this is true? No, no problem, you can say it, but you know, here we are talking about uh, uh, still a story happening in front of witnesses. It's not a guy claiming same things and nobody saw. This is what I'm so talking about. So you believe in witnesses 2,000 years ago, but you don't believe? Yeah, but you remember what happened here. You believe in a person, you have no witness, even his wife should not see that. Yes, but okay. it's, so not, how, it's not so, on me to okay, judge let right now. Let me ask you, so is, not, it, is, it possible, is it possible that Muhammad, he was uh, uh, illusionate? He, he imagined things that are happening, but in fact they are not? Um, let me say it like this. It could be possible, hmm. sure, but I surely like believe that it's not because okay. I, you know. Why Why I, surely? Why surely you believe it's not? Why? You just say the word surely and surely. You know the magic. Look, I tell you why. Huh. Because the same reason why I think you believe in God hmm. is that, you know, you see all these beautiful things in life and how wonderful and fantastic everything is. Maybe you see how great the universe is and everything yeah. and you know the message that came to me is Muhammad and there is so so much proven things also for me like what that this is the like what well, well, I can't Muhammad, tell right now what Muhammad he said in the Quran that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys is that something beautiful or this is something silly and stupid um, you can call whatever you want but let me tell you like this the Quran and the the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is so diverse, and you can always search for those things to make fun about. To no, I don't want to make, make fun. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let us, let us you can always take these things where you can say it's about war, it's about this, it's okay. about that, and it's fun. Let us, let us, let us mean. But also, there's so much more, and you can take this. And Perfect. like it's one, one second. I will finish soon. The thing is, you will find whatever you are looking for in this book or in this message. 
Correct. So the question is not about like what is in it. The question is what are you looking for? Mm. And what are you looking for? Me, I don't. I'm not looking for it. I receive okay, the message you, and I follow it. What make you believe? It. Okay, I will go with you. What make you believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Can you give me the prophecy of the prophet? Mm. There are a lot of things I think. Like what? Give me one. What do you mean? Like you see, when I say I'm a prophet, it means I prophesy. When I say I'm a doctor, that means I do uh, medicine. When I say I'm a writer, that means I wrote books. When I say I'm an engineer, that means I do engineering. Okay, now you call him a prophet. That is his profession. Now, what is the prophecy your prophet? You prophecy? can call you can call me naive or like I don't know how, but the message has come to me, so I don't have to question it. You know. No, I, no, no. This is not a question. You I'm see, following you. You're trying. No, you're I'm trying to speak to me I'm in your own this, logic, my friend. My friend, my friend, my friend. You said yes. to me a message came to me from Muhammad, right? Okay, the message is what. He is a prophet, so prophet he prophesied. What the prophecy he gave you? Like I so much things. Like even when I do my prayers, give me one. I, I give me a give me a prophecy, you know my I mean? friend. Give me a prophecy he gave you. How he called him prophet, but he have no prophecy. What do you mean with prophecy? You do you know? Don't prophecy. you know what prophecy mean? Don't you know what prophecy? Prophecy is telling me something nobody knows, said by God to him or to the prophet. Correct. Sorry again. Please. Prophecy is God telling me something, because the real prophet is God. He is the one who prophesies about the future. This is the future, the unseen. So, you're a prophet, or something happened now, but nobody knows about it still. So, ah, okay. Okay. So uh, what, it's, what it's is the prophecy so of your prophet? Like, like, like what? Like I don't know. The simplest thing coming to my mind is um, about the the small and the big things that are going to happen when the world is going to an end. You know. Small and big. What? Um, the small and big things, I don't know how to call it, but uh, like the, the coming of Jaddal or I don't know. <laughs> Come on, uh, the coming of the, the, the Dajjal, I mean, what Dajjal? Muhammad, he described the, the, okay, if we talk about it, your prophet, he described the Dajjal to look like Allah. How do you accept that? I don't know, but it's what maybe you something know? I mean, just friend, like I'm you, asking you, how, how a Dajjal, is he a man or he is not a man? I think he's something that pretends to look like a man. So he's what? Oh, look, I don't, I don't want to get deeper in this that job thing, but the, okay, my the friend, let's go about, back to zero. Let's we, go back we to zero. We talking about like okay, let's what's go the back prophecy to zero. of Muhammad. You have no did, give me a prophecy. Did, you know, he, he said so many things about uh, about the mankind that happened, and he said that like a thousand four hundred years like ago. What? Like what? Give me one. You want to search? Like, like. Uh, there will be, I don't know, uh, the most uh, rich people will come from the desert or something like that. I really? Think so. He said that? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. For example, but there are thousands of, like, maybe hundred or thousand, maybe ten thousand, I don't even know really. Mm -hmm. But every time I get some, I believe in it for sure, you know. It's it's not a thing about the question. Mm. Okay. The, uh, you know, when you're a prophet, who is a prophet? Kiss a black stone. Is that something his God told him, or he like he have a hobby to kiss stones? I don't know where this is coming from, but I believe that if he kiss some stones, there must be some uh, something about it. Mm. Okay. Your prophet, he said, I asked Masjid of Allah about the uh, uh, the. Pestilence. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. It's a disease, you know, it killed many people. He said it's a punishment which Allah He sent upon who is ever He wills. Is that right? Sorry, can you repeat it? The 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 the, the, the plague, the plague. According to your prophet, Allah He sent it only for those people who eat them. Is that correct? The plague. Hmm. What is it? In the hadith, it says that that Allah He sent the plague on the nations who Allah decide to punish them. Okay, what does the word plague mean? Uh, it's a disease, can, you know, kill people, you know, like it's like a, let us say it's like a flu, but it's very bad, you know, it kill you very fast. Okay, it's and a, what was the hadith? Be, it can be spread. Okay, what? 
What was the hadith? The hadith says that Allah, he punished people who they have such a disease. This is a punishment from Allah. And your prophet, he says that such a disease will never enter the city of al Medina or Mecca. Okay. Okay. But people, they die because of this disease in Mecca and al Medina. Okay. Okay. So yes. how, how Allah, how in the hadith says Allah, he punished those who have a plague. It's a punishment. And then he says that the one who died by the plague, he is a martyr for Allah. Okay. There, I, I, I never said like that everything uh, must be like for like 100% correct because you know maybe this was about something else or I don't know. Um, hmm. I wanted to go right let, now. Let, 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 let me let me ask. Let you. Me, hold on, hold on. You can okay. go right now. You can go and search right now. Did the plague enter the city of Medina? You will find yes, and many times. When Muhammad, he says that Allah also said, neither the Messiah at the Jal, the false Messiah, nor the plague will enter the city of Medina. He's a liar. How you can say but, he's a prophet? He will go, he prophesy that okay, the plague but, will never enter the Medina. But maybe when we die, we will find out that this thing will clarify, you know what I mean? What do you like, mean? They entered already the Medina. It's, he said, it's not, it's he, not said, black he, and said white. he said, my friend, he said, neither the false Messiah, neither the plague will enter the Medina. And you can go right now to the Saudi government website and you can check how many cases of a plague have been in the city of so Muhammad in history. And you will see that Muhammad here is a false prophet. Okay, that, that can be true, but mm. it's still not a reason, you know, to say that the whole religion is... No, it's a reason because if, like I, if I claim to be a prophet and you prove me saying a lie, that means I'm a false man. What do you mean it's not, not, not enough to prove? Oh, I mean, I mean, maybe we just understand it wrong because it can be no he will go he will go explain, explain to change to or something like My that friend, or it's, I don't know. it's very simple it's a plague it's we know what it is he promised it's not going to enter the city of medina what understand you wrong it's very simple here we go in front of us what, what, is, what exactly is a plague it's a disease. I, really don't I don't know, know what's your language what is the language you understand german okay take the word and translate to german p l a G U E. Translate. I don't know what is in German. Ah, it's a plague. Okay, okay, ah, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I think I know it. Um, maybe he was talking about some specific plague, and you know. It, no, my friend, this is the only one that people knows. People die by it by thousands, by millions through history. So it used to kill. You know, uh, Europe suffer from it. Middle East suffer from it. Jerusalem suffer from it. Uh, Saudi Arabia suffer from it. You know. Okay. So I have no answer for this but now i want to ask you something ask me something what is your real problem with with the islam islam well islam is a very filthy cult spreading violence and hate and it destroy uh, all countries i know and where i'm coming from my country is destroyed because of islam as simple as that is it a problem for you or not People no it's not oh, i can't really understand that it's all right okay. but um i know that people told you this often but you also know that it's not about the Islam that brings hatred to really? places. You, have you know, a, you have maybe a people can utilize it, but uh, that also happened with Christianity. So will we go and say, oh, okay, let's just rip off Christianity because it brought so many people there. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We have Quran. Do you have Quran with you? Yes. Okay, read for me chapter 5, verse 14. If you don't mind. Oh, I do mind because I don't want to read it right now. Why not? Because I read it in German. Read it in German, no problem. No, I don't want, sorry. It's okay, I, un I understand German. You know? Yes, but I just don't want to read it now. I speak all languages except, except the language you understand. So I'm like your prophet, I speak all languages except the one you know now. So now you read it in your language, it says that Allah has spread hate and enmity between the Christians one to each other and you are the one saying to me there's some people they use it for their own agenda but your god allah himself is saying i am the god who like to spread hate are you against hate my friend or you are you support hate i am against hate. okay so how you support allah then if allah is saying i'm going to spread the hate and enmity between the christians so what we um, do now look even like even if he didn't say that hmm. Even today we would have it's not we even would, we would have paid, it's, right? It's, okay, no, no, no. So he he tells us no, no, no. Okay, hold on. But, 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 but here we have a problem. For a bigger reason. So okay, but okay. I don't question it. Right, my friend, 
What kind of God? If 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 God spread hate, Shaitan, he do what then? What is the but job look, of Shaitan? But look, but that's the story. Like even if there wasn't Islam, if even if there were, were even my Muslim friend, I don't else, care. You keep running me from the question. You keep running. You keep, ru you keep running. You keep running. We are talking here about someone who claimed to be God. Don't tell me if there's no Islam, there's Islam. You will say to me there's hate. No. Allah says that the hate is exist because he spread it. And this, this is your book. So stop okay. playing a game. I don't know. I don't care. Okay. I have no I idea. I tell you, look, I, it's for me, okay, maybe there must be hate. But, and even if I think it's so bad and stuff, mm. but maybe... It is for a high reason, and it is for something I will so not understand now. It doesn't matter now. what I said. Uh, let's let 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 make it simple. Let us make it simple. Now. Whatever and I you say know, to you. You know, also, we don't live for this life. Okay. Even for that. Yeah, thank you very much. I have no time for a kid's talk. Because, obviously, whatever you say to me, okay, I don't know. Okay, but you give me no answer. A second ago, you were speaking against hate. The second I showed you that this is the Quran teaching hate, suddenly you have no problem with it. You give me a speech about hate. If this is what Allah you do, Shaitan is doing what exactly? What is the job of Shaitan right now? You must have me believe in Shaitan. So if Allah is the one who spread hate, Shaitan is doing what? He's watching? He's saying to Allah, good job? Good job, Allah, good job. Good job. What is that? The one who should spread hate is Shaitan. Shaitan should say, I will spread hate and enmity between them. But this is God. So God, he spread hate. And Shaitan is saying to Allah, he's learning from him. Good job, Allah, good job, I'm learning. Keep going. So what you say to me, I have no problem with it. No, I don't want to read it. Why you don't want to read it? Violence. Is it the Quran says go and kill the Christians and kill the Jews unless they pay your money to live? Pay or die. That is Islam. So what do you mean why you have a problem with Islam? Islam want to kill me. If Muslim took over, pay or die. And you are telling me what is the problem? What kind of religion, what kind of cult it says to a human being, just because you don't agree with them, pay or die. And what kind of a prophet, if you pay him, he have no problem, he will let you live and not to worship his God. If worshiping Jesus is a big sin, how come it's not a big sin no more if I pay him? So now you Muslims, you have no problem if we pay you? And the word mafia is coming from this, pay or die. When the Muslims occupy Sicily, the people of Sicily, they learned that from the Muslims. When the Muslims left, the, the gang took over because people used to pay to live. Pay or die. And this is where the word mafia is coming from. Family business, pay or die. The word assassin is coming from Muslims. Pay or die is coming from the Muslims. And this is coming from the Quran, as you see. And then they say to you, what's your problem? Somebody says, a CP don't appear his face. Your God don't appear his face. The Quran says that Allah, he never speak unless he speak from behind the veil. Burqa. So how come you don't ask the same question you asked me to Allah? Why you want to see my face? If I show you my foot, is that fine? You are terrified of me, and I am not showing my face. What if I show my face? What will happen to you? You will die. Hmm? Most people cannot answer me. They say, show your face. Why you don't ask Allah to show his face? Muhammad, he never spoke to Allah. He never heard the fart of Allah. Shouldn't at least Muhammad speak to his God at least once? Hello? Allah spoke to Shaitan. Allah spoke to Moses. Allah spoke to, to Isa. 
Allah spoke to Abraham, Allah spoke to Adam, Allah spoke uh, uh, to everybody, to the angels, but he will not speak to Muhammad. Why? And the Muslims, they say that the favorite creature for Allah is Muhammad, yet Allah don't want to speak to him. He sent him a delivery guy, his name is Jibreel. <laughs> hey Jibreel, how are you, brother? And later we find that Jibreel, he looked exactly like his boyfriend, Dahya Kalbi. Why? Even the delivery boy of Allah, Jibreel, he looked like the boyfriend of Muhammad who spent the whole night with Muhammad. And Muhammad tried to cover his ass. Why this guy, he stayed all night with him. He told him, this is Jibreel. You want to see the reference? We don't make things up like you Muslims. Here we go. Muhammad, he never met Jibreel. He met a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi. And this is his boyfriend, and he was the most handsome boy in the town. And this is the same person Muhammad he sent to the king of Jerusalem. Convert or die. Dahil Kalbi, why he chose him? Because he's the most handsome between all the people of the Arab in his time. And this is why the angel is coming in the shape of Dahil Kalbi. Allah could not find a better shape except the Hill Kalbi. And now we have in town two Jibreel. We have the real the Kalbi and the fake the Hill Kalbi. <laughs> How in the world now we will know who is the real Jibreel? Because now we have the Hill Kalbi. Oh, we have a guy, Luqman, he is calling. I don't know if he's, this is a real one or this is real. <laughs> Yes, I'm doing. What was the first name of Barabbas? The first name of Barabbas? <laughs> yeah, you first tell name me what, of Barabbas. what is his name? First na his first name was Jesus. And? So which Jesus was crucified? It says there in the chapter that the one who claimed to be Christ. Which one of them claimed to be Christ? Do you accept there was two Jesus? Okay, do you, do you accept the chapter there where you get the story from? Do you accept it or not? No, it's not historical. Does it say, yeah. okay, shut up then. Do you, does it say you there, does it, does it say there that the one who called himself a Christ is the one who was crucified? Yes or no? Pontius Pilate. So you are, so you are a donkey. Don't call me again. You keep repeating the same question. It says there clearly that the one who called him, who called himself Christ, this is the one they killed him. Stupid donkey. And by the way, you just approved to me the Quran to be corrupt. Why? Because look what the Quran says, you donkey. When I call them donkeys, I call them for a reason. Let us read the Quran. Chapter 4, verse 157. If what you are saying is true, it's mean Muhammad is a scam. Thank you very much. They said, we killed the Christ. Guys, okay, does it say that? People, does it say, they said we killed the Christ? People, does it say that? All the Abdul in the town say, I hate you, I hate you. Say to me, I don't hate you, you hate me, right? Say Christian press, we hate you, we hate you. Say it to me, say it. Hey, we'll get you busted. The Quran says that the Jews, they said we killed the Christ, you donkey. So as long as there's two, and they are sure who is who. Yet they say we killed the Christ. Who is the donkey here? You or your God? Same time. The story is not over. It says, we killed Christ, Jesus, the son of Mary. Was Barabbas the son of Mary too? Do you see how you get them busted? I hang up on him because he will keep talking, talking. He will not let me talk. There's no point. See how we get them busted? They named him Christ, not only Jesus. And they named him Jesus. And they named him the son of Mary. What is more confirmation you want? And then the Quran says, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but was made to appear to them. So Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. 
So here the story is not about a person. You have a name of Jesus. Is somebody look exactly like Jesus? But yet the Jews are sure, according to their belief, that they killed the Christ, the Son of Mary. This is how stupid the Abduls when they try to debate us. We get them busted from their books. Now here the story is proven to us many things. Number one, the Jews killed Jesus, yet they think this is Jesus. Correct, guys? And they think this is the son of Mary, and they think he is the Messiah. Hold on. That's mean. Everybody was there. He witnessed a real crucifixion of a real person who is supposedly, according to the Jews, the real Jesus, the real Messiah, the real son of Mary. As long as the Jews, they witness for this. How we can take the words of Muhammad who never witnessed, he wasn't there. Do you see, guys, how, how stupid this story? This story proved that the one who was crucified was Jesus. Because if Allah is saying, I made him appear like this. That's mean they saw Jesus, who care? You see? How in the world we will know that we have a scam, his name is Allah. He made someone look like Jesus. And what is the purpose of this scam? Don't Allah knew that if he creates someone look like Jesus, he will make the Christian think that Jesus was crucified. And then the Christians, they will believe in Jesus, die in the cross, and then he will go bingo. He created the Christianity. So the one behind, if Christianity is false, the one behind the false Christianity, quote unquote, is Allah. Are we following people? Do you see how we got Allah busted and how we got this stupid religion busted? If Allah, the one who made Jesus look like Jesus, or somebody look like Jesus, to be in the cross, and then we witnessed that the one who was in the cross was Jesus. This is what we saw. Allah, he made us see it, what we can do. He made us someone have the same look of Jesus, the same voice of Jesus, the same hair of Jesus, same eyes. Even his mother was in the front of the cross. She could not recognize that this is not him. So if we saw this and then we write in the Bible that we saw Jesus being crucified, how you can claim that this has not happened? You just prove that this is a true story. That yes, Jesus was crucified. Or oh, what you are saying to me, 600 years after, you come to me and you say to me, ah, 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 ah. this is a Jesus which Allah he created. He looked like Jesus, but he is not Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Are you there? Yes. Well, I, so I have a friend of mine that's uh is uh I'm, I'm Christian myself. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. My friend, mute, mute YouTube, mute YouTube. I have a friend of mine that's Christian. I have a friend of mine that's Muslim. He's sitting with me right now. Mute. Can I actually talk to you? Okay. Before you call me, mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. So we don't have double voice. I will call you back. Okay, go on. Did you mute YouTube? Oh, it's okay. Did you mute YouTube? Did you mute YouTube? Hello? Yes, did you mute YouTube? Okay. Yeah, we closed the YouTube. Okay, good. So what do you want to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. So, I'm Christian myself. I have a friend of mine. We're sitting here. We're talking. And uh, he doesn't believe anything that you have to say about this. He doesn't believe. I've showed him a couple of videos of yours. And I would like you to convince him. Or did I convince him? But talk to him no, about this. Yeah, it's not disrespectful or anything. You know, I grew up as a Muslim. And the things you describe doesn't fit in my brain. But it doesn't matter if it fits my brain or your pocket, my friend. That's what your prophet said. 
I'm, 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 I, I, I am showing you what your prophet said. So you say to me, it doesn't fit in my brain because your brain cannot believe it. And you are trying to go in denial because what your prophet is saying is not cannot, cannot be right. And this is why you say it doesn't fit in my brain. But I'm showing you on the screen everything I'm saying. Okay, okay. So do you, do you, as an example, now in front of us, do you agree with your prophet saying, I don't know what is your education, but do you agree with him that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be like her, and if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be like him? Do you agree with that, or this is silly? Okay, you said it's in Quran. Oh, this is now in the Hadith, but in the Quran, we can go to the Quran if you want. But what do you think? Is it, so, is, is it silly? And this, and this is Sahih. And this, is sahih. and this is Sahih. So what we would do now? This is what your prophet said. What we would do? Okay, I have never heard any hadith like that. My friend, now you heard. Here we go. I'm showing the reference in the front of you on the screen. Okay. okay so and what you said Sahih hadith? It is Sahih. Absolutely Sahih. So what we would do now? How your prophet can be a prophet and he say, and you just, you yourself agreed that this is cannot be right. Doesn't make sense. As, he, as you said. Okay, so, so this is that you pull up. Okay, I'm not, I'm not Arabic and I don't fully understand Arabic. My so friend, I'm, I'm showing it in the screen in English. And this is your Islamic translation. This is sunnah.com. I'm going to post the link for you in the chat. You can open YouTube still, but mute YouTube so you don't have the political sound. So I will post the link. Here we go. It is Sahih. So what we will do now? So, okay, let me read this translation. Okay. Give me one second. No problem. Take your time. Can you scroll down your screen on YouTube? Yeah. Here we go. A little bit, please. You see the hadith number? And this is the whole hadith. Uh, can you scroll it up, please? Okay, I put it up. You can open the link from your side if you want. I, I post it in the, in the chat. On, uh, did you, okay. I can pause it again in the chat. <laughs> okay, you're saying the man has orgasm and women have orgasm. It doesn't say anything like that. No, it says that. It says the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow and whichever of them comes first. Do you know what comes first, me? Okay. Okay, comes first and orgasm, right? Mm -hmm. okay, so okay. okay, see, so it's, it's, it, I mean, so it's, it, you are interpreting the things however you like. No, you give me your interpretation, go ahead, no problem, listen. So it doesn't say anything like that, the orgasm or anything, it's just comes first, okay, like, what uh, comes first mean? How, do, how do you, how do you explain this? No, you, no you, I, I'm listening to you, you see, you are smart, you are adult, and I'm listening to you, okay, what comes first according to your understanding? It could be a biological thing too, you know, like whatever my friend, a man. My friend, you are, you are, yes. you are, we are adults, we are not kids. He is saying uh -huh. there, the water of the man is thick and white. This is about the sperm, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so obviously you're talking about the sperm, about orgasm. And uh, yes. he's saying, and the women water is thin and yellow. So Muhammad, do you think that women have orgasm too? And that the water he see in the vagina, which is supposedly yellow and thin, that is the orgasm of the women. And this is her sperm. So, and he says, and which other of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Okay. Okay, so now based okay. on this, what you understand from comes first? Okay. That's so, cool. whatever, however you're explaining, like to me, I understand uh, whatever you're saying. But, you just interpret it. Uh, my friend, forget, this, forget about me. My friend, yeah. what's, what's your name? What's your name? Hassan. Hassan, Hassan, my friend. Forget okay. about what I am giving interpretation. You, yes. you give me the interpretation. So what I, okay, okay. I'm, 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 you, you have more knowledge than me and everything. I'm not, uh, I'm just asking questions to make things clear to me. Okay. All right. And I have never heard or read this hadith anywhere before. So, um, I mean, so so you are saying that a prophet shouldn't explain these kind of things no, to no, uh, his I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying 
But when I said to you first time that, you said to me, doesn't make sense. No. You're, you're the one who said that to me, right? You said it doesn't make yes, sense. Yes, I did. Okay. I did. So I, but the way, make, you, the way you explained it to me, the way you explained it to me, you talked about orgasm and vagina my and friend, all that. Not, that doesn't no, make sense. No, but no, no, the no, way no, that no, you put it on no, here, friend, it, it does make sense. No, my friend, it says whoever of them, whichever of them comes first, comes about what? Is it about coming from the door? Is it about coming from the window? Or it's about yes. sperm? When you have when you have sex, okay. one of you does get comes. Come, I mean, this is called orgasm. This is called orgasm, right? Yes. Okay. So now we agree that the word comes first. This is orgasm. So your prophet is claiming that the ones who comes first is the one in charge or the reason of the look of the child. So if the women have orgasm first, the child will resemble the mother, will be a female. If the if the male have orgasm first, the baby will look like the father. How in the world this is going to be a prophet saying such a thing? What is wrong with that saying that? My, because my friend, whoever comes first, have nothing to he do. Was, he, no. he was the prophet, he was the messenger, he's going to teach everything to his Allah. Okay, what is your education? What is my education? I'm going to college right now. Okay, can you do me a favor after we finish conversation, me and you, and check okay. in Google what is what decide the gender or the look of the baby? You will see that this is have nothing to do with who have orgasm first. What does have to do with okay. this? So this is obviously a very clear mistake, and there's no way okay, Muhammad. So, so I don't have like the uh, clear proof or evidence of yet now, but the, the the science it has proved that now, that gender and the male it it um it um, how do I say that in English? <laughs> um, it can be decided by uh, a man or woman when they do uh, for for the um for the eggs or the sperm. If you want, I can find that out my and friend, I can send friend, it to you. Friend, hold on. Muhammad is making it simple. Whoever comes first. So what is the main key? Coming first. Coming first. Now, let us go to the front. Uh, this, the, same, the same thing, just to make things for you more clear. Okay. Uh, m m uh, a woman, she came to your prophet and she spoke to him in the front of his wife. Okay. And she said, she's asking him about if she have to uh, wash her private part for she have a wicked dream, sexual dream, okay? So, okay. Muhammad, he said this, read with me carefully. And this is, we can read in Sahih Bukhari or in Sahih Muslim. It says the following, which means this is a Sahih Hadith. Umm Salim went to Apostle of Allah and said to him, Apostle of Allah, is Allah is not ashamed of the tr truth. Is, ba is bathing necessarily for a woman? when she had sexual uh, uh, a sexual dream mm -hmm. upon this the messenger of Allah said yes when she sees liquid in her vagina which means this is you have to wash Umm Salama this is the wife of Muhammad said messenger of Allah does the women have sexual dream but the way it doesn't say that the, the, the women the translation mm -hmm. is not really accurate. It says, does the women have such a thing, which means orgasm? He, the Holy okay. Prophet, he said, yes, let your hand cover dust, which means like, don't be stupid. If if this is not true, in what way does the child resemble, the, 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 resemble her? So your Prophet claimed that the sexual liquid in her vagina, which is yellow and thin, is the reason for the child and he is telling the woman she have to wash it she have to wash it this is something not internal external it's a it's a liquid she can see in her vagina muhammad claimed that this yellow thin liquid is the reason for the child resemble the mother is that what science says and is this a hadith absolutely it's a hadith Okay, can you give me the hadith number and... Uh, sure, what, what do you want? Which one? You want Sahih Bukhari? You want Sahih Muslim? Which one you want? Sahih Bukhari. Okay, let's go and give you Sahih Bukhari. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. And because I'm going to ask this thing to my scholars and I'm going to clear with them too. All right, Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 130. Or you can go by the other reference, the English reference. Uh, uh, volume number, number one, book number three, hadith number 132. All right? Hadith. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now let us go to the Quran. What about the Quran? Okay. Okay. In the Quran, have you ever heard about your prophet saying that the sperm coming from the ribs of the women? 
No. Okay, let's go to the Quran. In chapter 86, verse number uh, 6 and 7, and you can, can read you tell me the name of the chapter? Chapter 86, at tariq tariq okay. Yeah. And as you see, I'm using only Islamic website, Islamic scholars. I'm not using my own interpretation. I, I don't do that, you know. But Muslim says, I go, okay, this is what it says. Let us go for it. Here we go. So this is at tariq Chapter 7. Tafsir al-Jalalain. I'm sure you heard of al-Jalalain before. He's a big scholar, right? Yeah. Okay. Issuing from between the lions of the man and the breast bones of the women. Okay. What kind of God he says such a thing? That okay. Women... Can you go to the, um, you said, issuing from between the lions of the man. Not the lions, actually. This is false. The translation is false. It says al-Sul. Yeah. Al-Sul is the back. Back one. Yeah. Yes. Can you go to the uh, the ayah or the part of the ayah before this one? No problem. We can go here. We go. Let me show you the whole Quran, the whole chapter, chapter. Not, not the whole chapter. I just. I want know. To see I know. This I, side. I know. It's okay. I mean, you you have the right to to see what is before it, what after it. I understand. It's good because sometimes. Like I said, you are more knowledgeable than me. I'm just friend. trying to clear my things out. My friend, trust me. I'm talking to you based on your knowledge. I'm not being hard on you. I'm, I'm being like very patient and I'm going with you. Here we go. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim This is not part of the Quran. This is a corruption. This is why it's not number one. By the sky, um, Allah, he swear by the sky and a certain a certain a planet in the sky. And وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الطَّارِبِ النَّجْمُ الثَّاقِبِ You know. Uh, uh, and then he says, go here. Now let the man think of what he is created. He is created from a drop emitted proceeding from the from between the backbone and the ribs surely allah will be able to bring it back to life and this is like supposed to be after you die okay so where you are coming from you are a drop emitted from between okay the backbone and the ribs mm -hmm. backbone of what backbone of the man and the ribs of the women if you don't like it, if you don't like a general, we can change a different uh, different scholar. Do you, do you like? Do you have a specific scholar you like? So no, that's fine. Yeah. If you want, we can show you. Like we can go to Ibikathir if you want. Do you like Ibikathir? No, that that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's go to Ibikathir then. This is Ibikathir. We go here. Ibikathir, and I will show you in the screen. I'm choosing the verse in front of you. Okay, chapter 86. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar for me because always he tried to defend the Quran, lying about the meaning, but still we will use it to, you know, to show our point. Ibn Kathir is not explaining the Quran, he is trying to defend the Quran. So look what Ibn Kathir says. I'm going to show you the whole screen, hold on. Okay. So let the man see what he is created. This is alerting the man of, uh, 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 to the weakness of his origin. Okay, and what will happen to the hereafter? And he continue here. He says, explain the verse we're talking about. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Does it say out bursting forth? Does it say that? It's not something inside, it's something outside, correct? Out, rusting out, right? Rusting out. Out from where? From the men and the women. The man and sperm come out of his private part, correct? Yeah. Okay. So this has come out, it's not internal. And then the women water come rust out too. And then he says, thus, the child proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah. And then he continued explaining the verse after it. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone or the lions, this is the between two brackets, it's false, it doesn't say lion, it says backbone, more accurate, or of the men and the ribs of the women, which is referring to the chest, this is false translation too, it's not referring to the chest, it's referring to the location of the necklace, exactly. You see, when you put your finger like in, down your your neck or the way when you touch your uh, your, uh, your ribs, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is where at the is. 
So at Tarai Ibn Mara is the location of the necklace. I can show you the reference in Arabic. So your God claiming that women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. Women have a sperm coming from the backbone. And this gushing flow would make the baby. What do you say? Read with me. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It, the fluid, yellow and fine in texture. The child will not born except from both of them, i.e. sexual fluid. Mm. So now, are, are you going to say to me this is my interpretation or this is not my... I'm just sharing with you, my friend, what, they, what you Muslims say. It. And now, okay. and now, look what will happen. You go to your scholar. Your scholar, he will say to you, don't listen to those kuffar. They are liars. I say to him, I am, my, my friend, he did not, uh, he, he showed me a big here. No, I'm going to go and talk to them and, because uh, this is what, like, we, like, I want to make clear things in my mind. So I'm going to go to my scholar and I'm going to ask these questions that you uh, explained it to me. Okay. Can, can, you, can, you, can you do me a favor? Yeah. What about you ask your scholar to debate me live on here? I'm gonna try that. I'm, I'm not sure if he's gonna do that or not. Why not? I mean, he, he because by doing that, he can answer all the Muslims about this topic or any topic we are talking about, and for sure mm -hmm. he would do better job than you, right? Yeah. Okay. I will so talk. That will help everybody, and will, that will stop me from making Muslims leave Islam. Do you know how many Muslims leave Islam because of me, my friend? Because until now we cannot find a scholar he can review with me. So maybe your scholar can do better, and finally somebody will stop this guy from making Muslims leave Islam. So what do you think? Tell him this, yeah, is, gonna, this is a jihad I'm, for Allah. I mean, don't you want to stop the people from leaving Islam? Here we go. This guy, nobody can answer him. People that see this, anyone who see this, he will leave Islam. There's no way this is, this is God talking. Yep, you're right. Yeah, okay. I'm going to talk to him. Okay, thank you. So guys, did you hear? Our friend here is a nice gentleman. I, I welcome all the Muslims who have that. I can tell that he have a good family, he has a good parents. Because look how he talk. First, he speak with respect. He is not insulting. Mm -hmm. He is not calling names. And that is telling you how he grow in which house. The house he grow in, obviously, it's a good, good mother, good father. Mm -hmm. They taught him how to how to talk to others and not to be uh, in like not to go crazy and just to try to fight over being stupid. I mean, we have we we are talking in a human being in a civil way. And this is what I like to hear from Muslims always. I wish all Muslims are like you, my friend. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was talking to my friend too. While we both listen to your video sometimes, and I see people cursing out, and like this is not the right way to debate. Nobody can learn like that. Right. Anyway, my friend, I will be happy if you can get me your scholar. And if he said no, he will not debate me. Ask him why. Okay. Ask him, yeah. Ask him. Okay. Do you want? Do you want this guy to mislead people? Well, shouldn't okay. isn't your duty to 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 show everybody that he is not telling the truth? Or maybe he himself is misleaded. Maybe he can convert me to Islam. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I so I can get the versions. I like versions, to be honest with you. I'm a man. Because I'm I know that. Guys, I'm a man like all men. We like versions. I'm sorry, what? I'm saying maybe your scholar can convert me to Islam and make me get some versions. Some virgins? <laughs> yeah, in the heaven, don't you know that Allah He will give us a lot? Right now, Allah He is making, He, he is softening the skin of females in the heaven, and He spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of each. I cannot wait, my friend. They are so soft. Look like we can do slide on them. 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman? Do you, do you, I mean, I don't know how in the world we can believe in such a religion. What kind of God does God have? So, no. The scholar I'm talking about, he's going to talk to you and uh, he, I'm, I will make sure that he talk to you because the things you're explaining, there are people in Islam too that they are misleading. Like the things you are saying, you're talking about hoors, right? Hmm. What is that? Is, um, is that misleading? I mean, it's sometimes it's exaggerating things and Why? adding up things. But I will talk to him and I will try that he talk to you because he's an old guy. He don't know about Skype or anything. And I am overseas. So I will try somebody can go to him and do a Skype conversation with you. Well, as long as he speaks English, he's more than welcome. And we will be happy to talk to him. And we I, can get a translator for him too, if it's possible. He don't speak English. Well, if you can get me somebody he speak English, then it's better because translation make, might make you know, the answer loose. Because like you were saying that... Uh, 
like I said, I don't have so much knowledge about uh, being honest, not about Islam or Christianity. I am just born Muslim in Islam, Muslim house, just grew up like that. I understand. I understand. I, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not blaming you for being a Muslim, my friend. I'm here, my duty here, uh, because we love the Muslims and we want them to see the truth. You see, if you love somebody, you invite him to the best. What is the best for a Christian? Ask yourself. Yeah. The best for us is Jesus. Zach, do you agree? The best for me is a Christian. So, so I am inviting you. No, you don't. You believe in the wrong Jesus. The Jesus you have in the Quran is insulted, is humiliated. No, Quran does not respect no, you. If, if, if he is insulted and Muslims believe in that, they are not Muslims. No, my friend. If you if you don't insult Jesus, you don't believe in Jesus in Islam. Let me show you. Do I want to show you? No, that's what not my parents thought. No, your your parents they don't even know Islam. The same as you. They are just born Muslims like you. Okay. So the thing you were saying. No, I will talk. Yeah, you wanna show me that uh, uh, about Jesus? Yeah. Peace be upon him. Okay. What about what about the Quran says that Allah He blow in the mother of Jesus vagina? Is that an insult? With my respect to you, I'm not trying to be a bad person. With my respect to your mother, if I say that to your mother, is that respect to you? It is disrespectful. Huh? It is disrespectful. But uh, okay. like. If you go straight to the translation of Quran, it's the tafsir doesn't say that. My friend, because they are lying and they don't speak Arabic. The Arabic is very simple. It says farjaha. Faraj in Arabic is the vagina. Here she have a faraj. She is a woman. The farjul rajul is the is the penis. The farjul mara is the vagina. So when the Quran says that he blow into her vag vagina, I mean, obviously, this is a disrespect. Well, he can use many thousand in Arabic. Or language is very rich. There's a million words we can say. What the blow in her vagina? What does that mean? All right. And what what about Mary? She says, I am not a hooker. What kind of language is that is? You know, and the Jews that said to her, you are, you know, you, you, your parents, they, they were not hookers. What kind of language this language is? What about your prophet saying the one who, uh, who is proud about his inheritance, tell him go and bite the penis of your father? What kind of language is that? Okay, so that's what the confusion in my brain is, because you explain all these things, and I don't have much knowledge about these things. You explain hadiths and ayats, uh, ayats from Quran, yeah. but like you were saying, people are leaving. So how may how, the confusion in my brain is why uh, so many people are converting to Islam then? They made me they leave Islam again. It doesn't matter. They, they, this is their bad luck because they are deceived. They lied to. Here we go. I show reference. I don't show my face. I see it in front of my eyes. People convert into Islam every my friend, day. Let me tell you. You know, when somebody converts to Islam, the Muslim they will make tens of thousands for him. That a person he left Islam. But when somebody leaves Islam, he hide his face. Uh, you correct? Nobody talk about it. Nobody did they dare to call. They don't even dare to mention their names. So the story is different. The fact that ones who leave Islam is a lot more than those who convert to Islam. And not only that, those who convert to Islam, they stay a year or two or three, and then they leave Islam. They find that the Muslims did lie to them when they converted to Islam. They told them something, and they found Islam to be something else. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it makes sense because when I did, like now, how many times, how many videos you saw in the internet saying the Quran is full of miracles, scientific miracles? How many? Thousands, yes. right? But do you, do, you, do you know that not a single one of them is true? That's not true. Okay, choose one for me and I will get it busted right now in the front of you. Which one? Okay. Um, can you go... Uh, that, 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 that is the, the one that starts with the Iqra Vismira Bikalazi. That explains the uh, whole thing about the reproduction, like how the man is created. Okay, I will go there. You choose it my, yourself. It's not my fault. <laughs> this is the chapter of Al Qalam, right? Al Qalam, yes. Okay, let us go there, and we will see what your God He said. And again, you will notice right away that the first chapter Muhammad He received from His God supposedly is wrong, you know, because. Uh, 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 how how Allah hold on? How Allah He says such a thing, proving the ignorance of the one who wrote the Quran.
The Muslim, they call this uh, in the Quran today, Al-Alaq. Read with me carefully. You are okay. the, the one who chose this chapter, right? Yes. Okay. Well, what, what was with me? The first line in the Quran is a lie. Why? Do you know why? Why? You Muslims believe Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, how Allah, he says to Muhammad, read? Uh, he said uh, Jibreel. No problem. How he said to him, read? The guy, he cannot read. What do you mean? Okay, if I know that you are a person, don't speak English. Should I ask you to speak English? No. Unless I do not know you that you speak English, right? So the one yes. who is talking here to Muhammad either, he does not know that Muhammad cannot read or he knew okay. that Muhammad he, can, he cannot read, yet he is ordering him to read to make a miracle. Okay. So okay. what I understand according to my little knowledge is that message is for the whole Ummah, not just for Muhammad. No, no, no. This is a message was for Muhammad was Muhammad alone. This is a verse was given to Muhammad. Yes, because he was the messenger of God. No problem. What I understand from that is... You see, my friend, my friend, my friend, hold on. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. I'm an Arab. It says here, uh, Iqra okay. bismi rabbika, not Iqra u. Iqra for one person. Okay? And this verse came to Muhammad. He was in the in the cave of Hara. All right? Yes. So he yes. was not speaking to a group. He was speaking to one person. His name is Muhammad. He said to him, Iqra. Here you notice the mistake because if Allah is all-knowing, he should know that Muhammad do not know how to read. Secondly, <laughs> Muhammad, he said to him, to Jibreel, three times, I cannot read. The guy, he yeah. squeezed him three times, and still he says to him, read. So what the point? Did he make him read? No. Did he know that he know, do not know how to read? If you say he knows, and yet he says okay, to I'm, him to I'm read. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, interrupt you. My phone is about to die. I'm going to call you from uh, my friend's phone. No problem. That's fine? Go ahead. No problem. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, this is you again, huh? Yes. Okay. Now look with me. So this is the first mistake, and then hey, he I'm says, "Okay, want... okay." Hold he created the man from a clot. Do you know what the clot mean? Yes. What a clot? Tell me what the clot mean. A clot. Uh... A... See, English is not my first language either. My so... friend, this is Quran in Arabic, not in English anyway. So what? Yes, yes. So what uh, the clot? The, uh... The blood is like, um, how do you explain it to you? It's a dead blood, my friend. Yes, yes. Okay. How, how such a, such a mistake can happen? A human being it's is created from dead blood? You said, what is blood? Dead blood. Dead blood. Okay. Okay, alaq is dead blood. And this is okay. your Islamic translation in front of okay. you. Create the man out of mere clot of congealed blood. How in the world anyone can believe in that? This is a mistake. This is not science. Okay. A human so being, a human being, a human being is not a created from blood. He is a created from a sperm, which is going to the egg, and the egg will go to multiply, not even the sperm. The sperm deliver the DNA, activate the egg, and the egg itself start multiplying. So what the, what what the, what the kunji, the blood is talking about? So Allah first he created I, the blood and then the blood started started growing. No. Okay, so this is a mistake. <laughs> Another mistake. You see, this is the chapter you gave me. Let us see how many mistakes. Yes, yes, I'm listening. Okay, here the Muslims they say proclaim. It doesn't say proclaim. It says iqra, iqra, and the name of your Lord. Okay, he is the one who taught by the pen. What pen? Who is the one who learned by the pen in Islam? Muhammad learned by the pen? See, like like I told you that I understood this thing, this this whole ayah and everything. Uh -huh. is this, this is for not just for Muhammad, it's for the whole ummah. My friend, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Allah taught nobody by the pen. This is a lie. Because simply, the pen is not even an Arabic word. It's not created by Allah. The pen is something created by nations are not Muslims, not even by the Arab. The word Qalam, the Quran says, Quran We made it a pure Arabic, but the word Qalam is not Arabic. 
So how he claimed that That's he told Farsi, but, right? Huh? That's Farsi. Well, there is many origin for it. I don't, I don't want to go in details, but but for sure it's not an Arabic. Even the Muslim scholars agree that the word Qalam is not Arabic. So yes, it's even Arabic. the word Quran is not Arabic. I mean, Quran itself is not Arabic. It's Aramaic. So he taught uh, he taught the use of the pen since when? What is that? You know? So mm -hmm. Muhammad here, all what he's doing, he's trying to, to make Arabic music, has no meaning. Look what he says. So he's trying to keep the, the, the same the, uh, uh, rhythm, rhythm in, the, in, the, in the music. So because he's doing that, he, uh, the verses come with no meaning. Now, as long as we are talking about this, you, you asked me to go here to talk about okay. this one specifically, that he created him from uh, 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 clouds, right? Yes. Okay. If we go to the front verse in the Quran, we will see the following. Okay. and tell me how in the world God can be God and he said such a thing we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood sperm will turn into dead blood what is that it's not so <laughs> it says that in front of you my friend it's not yes, me who yes, said that yes, okay yes, yes, so we made the sperm into a congealed blood this is impossible this is false and then the sperm became a clot that's stupid too because what is that well, there's no egg here it's the sperm transforming from a stage to a stage. The first stage is dead blood. The blood doesn't grow. The reason Muhammad he says that because he noticed when women they have the, the, a miscarriage, the blood come out and the blood is dead. The baby is dead. So he thinks this is how the baby is created from a, from a blood like this, solid dead blood. So he come with this mistake, and then he says that. Uh, and then we made the uh, we, we made out the loom, and then we uh, with uh, bones, and then the, we close the bones with the flesh, and etc. So based on your prophet teaching, every stage by itself happened in a certain time, and the others they are to follow. But this is not true. The bones they start shaping from the beginning. They are soft, yes, but they are bones. The organs they start shaping from the beginning. They are small, but yes, they are exist. So. This is absolutely false statement. If we go now to the hadith to, to, to understand what Muhammad is saying, who, like who knows what, what he meant in the Quran better than him? Muhammad, right? You know better than uh -huh. me and you, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So let's see how Muhammad explained this verse for us in the Quran. Read with me carefully. He said, the drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 days or 50 nights. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Do you agree? When a drop remains in the womb for 40 or 50, okay. According to science, sperm can live up to five days maximum. I don't have knowledge about that. I will search for you. I will show you the screen right now so you can see with me. Okay. Uh, let us see. Read with me carefully, please. This is I just search on Google. You can do the same. Since the sperm can only uh, live for maximum of five days, do you see it? And where? No, I can't see that. I'm showing sure on the screen. Um. Okay. Okay. So how maximum? Five days. But not in the womb. My friend, the sperm doesn't go, what, what womb? The sperm, what womb? The sperm can live inside the women no. for maximum okay. for five days. That's a, no, that's... that's what? One second. Hmm. I'm going to Google that too. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Congratulations. find it um yeah just one second i'm sorry
So obviously in your profit, he just added 50, uh, added zero to the number 50, to number five. Okay. Yeah, I can't find anything. Okay. So your profit, he cannot be a prophet of God because here we go, even the life of the sperm is, is, a, is a false statement. He said 40 or 50. And then angel come and say, oh my Lord, will be his good or evil, as you see. And he is claiming that the last stage in the creation is male or female. And this is absolutely false. The right away, when they have the fertility, immediately the gender of the baby is determined. Not at the end, from the beginning. When the sperm right away go inside the egg, right now, now we know if it's a male or female. So this is again a, a, a silly mistake. Read with me this one here. The same story, your prophet saying the same story. So this is a very repeated story from your prophet, proving to us that your prophet cannot be a prophet of God. And now, if the Muslim, they want to say to me, this is weak. Well, this is not weak. And by the way, even weak hadith is accepted. It is sahih. There's nothing that's called weak. It's a lie. What happened through centuries, the Muslim, they start filtering things which is not suitable for Islam because obviously Muhammad can't be a prophet if we accept them. So they start saying this is weak and this is strong and etc. But as you see, now it is strong. I, am, I will not be surprised if after 20 years from now, the Muslim, they will say, this is weak. There's no way we can accept this. But it's strong. Okay. So how this is, can be a prophet of God? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I will talk to uh, the scholars <laughs> I know, and I will try that they talk to you. Oh. And you guys have a healthy debate yeah. without cursing out each other. Oh, no, I don't really. You know, for me, I, I speak to... Uh, did I curse you? No. Okay, did I insult you? No, Okay. because yeah. I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. No, my friend, I speak to people in their language, which means if you want to be rude, well, uh, you know, I have to deal with you in the language you understand. Mm -hmm. If you are a nice person, I am nicer. Okay. Okay, so if a Muslim, he called me to call me names and to insult, well, he, he brought to himself what he brought to himself. Yep. You know, life is like a mirror. You speak bad, you receive bad. That's true. Don't call me and insult me. Here we go. You are a Muslim. You call me. Say, we are all this time talking. I did not say any any word to you. you uh -huh. know, and, and look, we are having a conversation. I give you time to say what you want. Yes. And I can say what I want. Other Muslims, yes. in order to avoid debate, they keep talking. Uh -huh. Because they are panicked. They don't know what to do. They are scared to let me talk. Because they knew that this is a guy. His name is a Christian prince. And he is horrible. You know, we do not know what he know. So if we let him talk, he will, you know, he will do what he usually do. So the only way is we call him and we keep, we keep talking. Uh -huh. And this is the only way to stop him from from getting his time busted or even to ask us questions. Sure, sure, yeah. Right. Yeah, I will try that somebody can go to that guy and you guys have a conversation. No problem, my friend. Thank you for calling and uh, feel free to admit your Skype and you can call me anytime. Sure, thank you. All right, thank you. Let's see what this guy here was trying to do. Answer, Abdul. And listen, the, the panic, they will keep talking, talking, talking. They want me to let me talk. Go ahead. Right, that's why they keep talking. See, here we go. Uh, he, will, he will keep talking, he will not let me talk. Are you going I'm to answer or not? Okay, no, you cannot let, don't let me talk. You are here just to insult and to call names. No, I'm not insulting. Okay, let's see. Let us see. Let us start from zero. Okay. Zero, what do you fine. think about what you are talking about? Your prophet saying that the sperm live inside the mother womb for 40 or 50 days. Do you accept that or this is a lie? I want to talk about the Trinity. It's not up you to you. We have a topic. Understand. We talk about it many times. It's up to you. You don't not go invest, not go invest. So now, are you going to answer or not? It's not that I'm not convinced. You no, I don't care. Here we go. You are just a kid. We repeat the same story over and over. And I got you, got you busted from your book. Hey, let's see this one guy. Just to insult and to call names. Um, 
Okay, let us see. Let us see. Let us start from zero. Mute you two. Okay. Ah, what do you think about what you are talking about? Mute you're you two. Seeing that the sperm lives. Before you call me, mute you two. And if you are a Christian, don't call me. And you know, they lie and they send me text supposedly to make me believe that they are, uh, you know, they, they, if you see the text they send me, they, they are deceivers. I want to leave Islam and then we call and we see somebody making fun and making jokes and etc. You know? Let us see. to close the door of the van over his penis? Huh? <laughs> Stupid people. Uh, you know, this way, you know, like, uh, I am just taking your call just for a laugh. I know that you're a scam. So supposed to you are better than them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, okay. well, I'm, not, I'm not. Your your wife, her name, your your girlfriend, her name is Khadija or Sophia. No man, it's, it's Fadwa. Um, Fadwa. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, basically, and so you have a girlfriend yeah. now. Bro, listen. Uh, listen. I'm not. Listen. I'm not here to joke and about you. I'm, I'm being serious. Don't you you know. You, Go ahead. I need your help. Uh -huh. Basically. Basically, um, you know, she, she, um, you know, in Islam, I told her, you know, that violence against women is not, uh, is not allowed and stuff. And she's been showing me videos of yours where you, sh where you say that, you know, in Islam, actually, violence mm. is encouraged and all those sort of things. Um, very much she's Christian, and, and we keep arguing and stuff. Um, and then, you know, I came across one of your videos where you say, you know, look, uh, Muhammad said, beat your uh, woman into submission and all those sort of things. But um, I don't know what to um, do about it. Like, I'm not sure. Like. Um, would, first, you, would you be able to show me a, a bit yeah. more, uh, you know, what, what all, it's like? What, first, of all, first of all, you're, you're, you're the one you call her your girlfriend, she's not a Christian. Are you saying girlfriend as a friend or a girlfriend? No, no, girlfriend as in a uh, um, couple, couple. Okay, so she is not a Christian, my friend. Secondly, this is in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 34, where it says... Uh, can you put man, it on the screen, please? I want, yeah. uh, can you put it on the, screen, uh, on the screen, please? Sure. Chapter 4, verse number 34. It's not coming up. It's okay. No, it's okay, coming. Hold on. Let me show you. Hold on. What translation is your favorite translation? I, I don't mind. As long as it's from the Quran, yeah, I don't really okay. mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be here playing the game of weak hadith, All weak right. Quran, whatever. All right. No problem. So chapter four, verse number thirty-four, the Quran in front of us. Okay. Here we go. It says that the women who you fear that they are not obedient, you scourge them. Yes, keep scrolling. Oh, so, and this is uh, this is in the Cor in Quran, right? Yes, it says here that the women who you fear, you fear, they are not doing anything wrong here, just you fear. For those yeah. who you whom you fear, rebellion, like you just say, your wife, you told her to make some tea for you, and she said, mm, okay, like sound doesn't like it, you know, like you felt something not right. So, what do you do? You scream at them. And you can even, you know, you can jail them in their rooms. And if you want, you can discourage them. And that, that's if they're not obedient to you, right? No, if they, if you fear they are not, they did not re, became obedient yet, not disobedient. And then here it says, and then if they obey, you seek not against them. So here, if you fear, that they might go and be unobedient. So this is like 
It's like cheating. It's like if I feel like she cheated on me or something like No, in Islam, if a woman she cheated her husband, the punishment is totally delivered. It's totally dead from the Old Testament of the Jews. So, uh, uh, the, here is about a woman. You might feel she is, she might, not, she, is, she is not yet disobedient. As I, I give you an example. You say to her, bring me water. And she moves slowly and she sounds like she doesn't like it. So this is, you fear that she is rebellious. She has not been obedient yet. Or she is, uh, she is in the way to disobey. So what do you do? The Quran says, admonish them, punish them in bed and scourge them. So it's like, basically it's like, um, uh, so violence basically in this sense would be allowed, right? As you say, scourge them. But I've been told, um, I've been told that, you know, um, in Islam, you're not allowed to, you know, um, you know, uh, violence against your girlfriend or a woman is not allowed and that kind of stuff. Where but then, it, where it says that, here we go, this is wrong. No, 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 this, this is what I've heard. Um, I haven't seen, you know, no, I haven't read the no, Quran no, and stuff like that. No, this is not a true. And actually, here we go, your prophet, he, a woman, she came to him, complained that her husband, he did beat her and he made her skin greener than her clothes. What oh, in the hadith, did. yeah, I saw, I saw this, I saw this, I think, in one of your uh, previous videos. Yeah. So what Muhammad he did, he took the side of the man, not the side of the women. Okay, and also I saw the thing, um, but I didn't uh, thoroughly understand the thing where he says, you know, um, if two, two um, you know, witness, you need to bring, if, if there's one man, you need to bring two women because their mind is um, not working properly or something like that. Yeah, the Quran says that women, they have half a brain. And this is why two women are equal to one man. For, so if it's one of them, she forgot, the other one remind her. And this is proving to be scientifically wrong. If you take your wife to a party or a dinner, and then you come back and we ask you what you ate, you will not remember. But your wife, she will tell you what everybody in, the, in that place was wearing clothes. What people, what kind of hairstyle, correct? What the yeah. food was, women, they give you the details. Men, they don't care. So... Uh, you know, uh, this is this is a false statement. Um, yeah, and also, you know, um, so basically, um, you know, human rights are not really uh, respected, right? You see, there's nothing that's called the human rights, you know. Because you see all these uh, feminist movements, uh, you know, um, Islam is a religion for uh, equality. You know, human, uh, human right is something flexible, even those who they call themselves feminists are funny because it's up to them to decide what is a human right now. And it's up to them to say what is not a human right, right? So for them, yep. if a woman, she, uh, they claim that now women, they have to grow, to grow hair under their arms. I mean, this is silly. What does this have to do with the human right? Grow your, uh, grow, grow your hair over your chest too. I mean, this is silly. So, uh, I mean, the, the, they are not an example to talk about what is a human right. The human right is, you have the right to believe as God. He created you to be free, to be or not to be. You want to believe in Him, you don't want to believe in Him. Otherwise, why there is heaven and hell? If we want to force people to believe in something, then there's no need for uh, for heaven and hell. People go to heaven because God supposedly reward them, right? Yeah. For, um, the, for so the belief guess, willingly, right. but in Islam, there is no such a thing. So we don't want to mix between human rights and some silly people saying things that not have to do with it. Like I, I, uh, somebody sent me an article saying that we need to in, in strong the women or strengthen the women and they are advising the women to wear sexy underwear. I mean, how in the world that, how a woman she would be stronger if she wear a sexy underwear? Uh, mental illness, I mean, what we can say, people really, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you start following a fool, then you become a fool. And this is what Islam is about. You follow Muhammad, you end to be Muhammadan. Right. Um, well, um, so uh, from an Islamic perspective, okay, uh, for example, if, um, if if I'm violent towards my girlfriend, that wouldn't be um, a sin, right? According, to Islam, no, no, according to Islam, your girlfriend, first, you, 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 in Christianity and in Islam, you can have a girlfriend as a, as a girlfriend for muta. You know, like uh, let's say, you have to make... You have to do um, a, a contract with the girlfriend to sleep with her, and that will yeah, will call will call muta, which means you have to pay her. Do you pay your girlfriend? Uh, no, but the contract says it has to be verbal. Okay, well, this is haram. Right? In Islam, this is haram. You have to tell her how much, how long you want to sleep with her, and she have to agree about how long and how much you will pay her, and that will make her lawful for you. Right now, you are committing sin. If you want to do. Uh, a sexual relationship with the women, 
You have to do it according to Allah. You offer her money, she accepts the money, and for how long? So like you have to say to her, I want to sleep with you for the coming month. And I will pay you a uh, hundred dollars. Wait, wait, is it is it is nakiba al muta only allowed? Isn't it only allowed for three days, maximum three days, and it has to be no. um, verbal? No, you no. can no, you can you can increase as you wish. Uh, uh, this is this is uh, it's an agreement. For how long? It can be one night. It can be one hour. It can be uh, one day. It can be two. Uh, you know. Uh, let me show you this hadith here in front of you. Yes, please. It says Allah also said, if a man and a woman agree. To do muta, not temporarily marriage. There, and doesn't say this is a false translation. You see the word marriage here? Do, do you know Arabic? A little, a little. Okay, here it says, أيما رجل وامرأة توافقا فعشرة ما بينهما ثلاث ليال. Doesn't say marriage. توافقا على عشرة. Agree to sleep together, to have to to live together. So any any man and a woman, they agree to have relationship bed together to live together their their muta should last for three days three nights and if they like to continue they can do so and if they like to separate they can do so all right um so basically okay but if, okay if you agree for example um it has to be um uh, written or verbal right no, if she agrees. Not, not written. It's just verbal. You have to tell her how much and how long, and she have to. But what is your girlfriend like? She no. have. There is nothing. It's called girlfriend in Islam. This is how the girlfriend is. You hire a woman for sex. It's a contract for sex. She is a prostitute. So because you have to pay her. If you don't pay her, it's not allowed. So she have to get paid because she took off her panty for you, and you have to tell her how long you wanna sleep with her, and she have to repeat. And she say, let us say. You say to her, I want to sleep with you for three days, fully three days, and I will pay you $200. She have to repeat saying, I agree to sleep with you for three days for the, for the total of $200. If she don't do that, this is not not halal. Um, okay, so that's the sin basically. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, she have to repeat and agree in the terms of this contract, of sex contract, which is how much and how long. All right. And um, when and when the time is over, there's no need. You don't divorce her because she's not your wife anyway. It's just a sister. Why you don't want to pay her, or if she doesn't accept a uh, payment? Uh, that will not valid. Uh, then she is doing a haram because she have to get paid. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit funny. <laughs> I well, mean, how you know if she's your girlfriend? You know, you, you... she is not a girlfriend. I said to you, this is not a girlfriend. She is. A I, I know, but I'm she is, about, she you know, is a hooker. Today's is society. A, yeah. Today's society. Well, you pay, I agree. You pay only a woman. A woman, she accepts to get paid for sex. She must be a whore, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, Islam approve you to have sex with the whore, not with the girlfriend. Yeah, and also I've got another question, but, um, you know, I'm not trying to be rude or anything um, or too um, explicit here, but, um, you know, in Islam, you know, having um, Big Bang, you know, from the back is not allowed. And... Uh, we no, did this it, so that is not, no, this is not true. This is they come with their own interpretation, but the Quran says it clearly: you can have sex in any place you want. If we go in the Quran, you will see <coughs> Muhammad he says, "Nisaakum harthun lakum." Your women is the same as a tooth for you, so take in your tooth as you wish. Chapter two, verse number two, two, three, uh, two, two, three. Wait, wait, I'm writing chapter two. Yeah. Chapter two, verse number two, yeah. two, three. All right, cool. The Jews, right. the Jews, they were saying that if a person have sex with his wife, you know, they like they say it's a fiction that if you have sex with your wife from wrong location, yeah. uh, the child will be blind. All right, or let's say you have a cross eyes, which is stupid, right? But it's just uh, they spread those ideas so men they will not do that. The ignorant men they will not do that with their women. Uh, Muhammad, he wanted to answer the Jews. He said, no, your women as the same as death. So dig in your death as you wish. Now, some scholars, they start saying, this is not about having sex from the anus. It's about having sex uh, from behind. So he's saying, do you can have sex from behind or from the front? It doesn't matter. But that's not what the, what the argument was about. It's about having sex with the women from her private part, the front part or the back part. And we can prove 
letter from the Islamic reference. It will go chapter 2, verse number 2. two uh, uh, let us go here. Chapter 2. <laughs> and what about, what about um, you know, um, sort of, um, you know, a uh, blow joke? Uh, well, uh, you know, it looks like we are going far away from our topics. Thank you very much.